Is it freezing where you are? Because it is so cold here that I wish... Hold on, let me see that. I wish I brought my faux fur red coat by my friend Noor. I'll tag her. Um, but you know what? While I'm wishing... Screw it. While I'm wishing, I wish I were wearing that coat while walking down the streets of Paris in Le Marais, eating not one, but two store eclairs in my right hand, and a daquoise cake in my left hand, double fisting it, shoving eclairs on this side, eating a daquoise cake in that side, and burning the calories while walking around Paris, where it's so beautiful. But I'm not. I'm here. And there's no place I'd rather be, because tonight we are going to talk about retinols and a few of your questions that you guys submitted. Let's go. So we are going to take a step back. What is a retinoid? <laughs> so what is a retinoid? I don't know what a retinoid is. I don't uh, know what it is. How are you married to me? What? Oh my God. So, fail. Retinoids are a umbrella term. They basically encompass all vitamin A derivatives when it comes to skincare. And they are the crown jewel of your skincare routine. Because... They are the only thing that have ever been proven to stimulate collagen production, so helping your skin get firmer over time, while helping with fine lines, wrinkles, um, evening out your skin tone, making you look better as you age. Um, so instead of becoming a shriveled prune, which you were destined to become if you had done nothing, you will be a little bit of a... I don't know what the right word. You will still be a prune... But not so shriveled, is my point. So that is what a retinoid does. Okay? And how you go from retinol to retinoids, I will describe in a second. I'll say this very quick in a very linear fashion. Retinol esters become retinol, which then become retinaldehyde or retinal, which then converts into retinoic acid, also known as prescription strength retin-A or tretinoin. Okay, my skin nerds. So you just had a lesson. That's why prescription strength, retin-A, is stronger because it's already active, whereas retinol needs to convert into two steps in order to become tretinoin or prescription strength. And that's why they say that retinol is not as strong. However, over time, as it builds its um, efficacy and it, as it gets to work, it can have as good results as retin-A. And the key is being consistent in how you use it. It's not like going to the gym one time and expecting to all of a sudden have abs. No, it's about going to the gym every other day for the rest of your life because that's the only way that you're going to remain healthy and that's the only way that your skin's going to remain healthy is if you use that retinol or retin-A every single day or at least two to three times a week or at least consistently. So this question has many innuendos. First of all, when do you use your retinoid? Prescription at night, only at night because the daylight's going to break it down. And it's not going to work. Retinol's over the counter. You can actually use both AM and PM. However, I still only recommend it at night because it just keeps your skincare routine simpler. People say not to use any retinol or prescription retin-A over the summer. Um, bullshit. You can use it all time of the year. It's just going to make you more photosensitive. So make sure you're wearing sunscreen, which you should be doing anyway and reapplying. And you shouldn't be baking under the sun like a turkey. So they really all have some sort of level of irritation to them. So when in doubt, go for an over-the-counter before prescription and use it once or twice a week for several weeks until you can up it by a night and add a night. But you can get more technical. Not all retinols are created equal. If you're nervous, you can start with retinol esters like retinol palmitate or propionate. And that's what's in the Augustinus Beta Cream, FYI. Number two, you can go for the lowest strength retinol. However, there's a new class. So they're not that new, but it's the retinoic acid esters. It's basically as strong as prescription strength minus the irritation. Found in the Grand Active Retinoid by The Ordinary. Found in It Cosmetics. Found in Indeed Labs. Found in Sunday Riley. Found in Alpha Retinoid. So 
glycolic acid is an AHA, a BHA is like salicylic acid. They both increase collagen production over time. Um, you can use it with the retinol, but I would not recommend that you start with that. Only once your skin is really truly used to the retinol can you incorporate them on the same night. So if you've been following along, you know that I've popped two babies in the last two and a half years. So I did not use any retinol or retinoids. You should not use them when you're pregnant. Um, or breastfeeding, I used Bakushiol, which is the alternative, instead. All right, you cool cats and kittens. <laughs> it's gonna kill me. Um, I hope this was helpful. I hope I shed some light on this very confusing topic. Um, maybe we'll do a poll. Maybe we should repeat this. Maybe we shouldn't. But good night.